wasting money here. Today we're going to be opening three different SH Fig Yards from AliExpress. Spent only about $50 total. So for the three figures, I think the most expensive one was about 20 bucks. But each one of these should be an SH Fig Yards. These are bootleg, you know, Chinese versions. So <laughs> definitely not the real thing. So don't get that mixed up. I uh, just wanted to kind of put that disclaimer out there. It's a fake. But let's get into these. I'm not sure which one is which. And AliExpress, I mean, they didn't have like any type of, you know, brand on the packaging. They, uh, I mean, you can tell it actually came from China. From the back, they just like put something different over the label. But I will say it looks like they got it. Uh, <laughs> we can see what this is already. Check that out. Let's get him out here. So, <laughs> I know the channel is like mainly Dragon Ball Z related, but I uh, I wanted to pick up this Michael Jackson figure. Yeah, let me get him out. <laughs> I wanted to pick up this Michael Jackson SH Fig Yards just because if you've seen some of my other videos, I tend to put some of the Dragon Ball Z characters in suits. I figure this suit may be good for Gohan, or it may suit him well, so to speak. But <laughs> let's let's get everything opened, and then we'll kind of get into the different uh, individual reviews after that. And then let's see what's in this one, shall we? I didn't have my knife today, so I'm just having my scissors I'm cutting in here. But again, ooh, nice, nice. I don't know if you can see that, but I picked up Android 18. Let me get this off. Kind of look at her there. All right. So yeah, we got the Android 18 SH Fig Yards. It's, you know, it looks just like the exclusive edition or the, I guess the Comic-Con, you know, special color edition. So it, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that eye. That is jacked up. All right, we'll, we'll have to open her up in a little bit. So we got the girl, and then we got Michael Jackson there. <laughs> so who do you think this will be? Any guesses? Let me know in the comments. Again, not really going to give anything away from the thumbnail, but check this out. The Vegeta Super Saiyan God one. It actually looks pretty legit from the first glances. But let's get it open and we can kind of see. Again, packaged really well. <laughs> what the? What is, what is that on his face? What is that? <laughs> well, they, they didn't do his face any justice, but there's that one so i guess we'll uh let's see those are the three that i got this one was about uh 20 bucks i believe that was the most expensive michael jackson <laughs> he was about i, I want to say like a, about 20 as well like 18 and then 18 was actually 13 so <laughs> about 50 bucks for all of them but i'm uh Let's just open this one up first. I'm not going to do like a big review or anything on him. I just kind of wanted to see if uh, I'm wanting either like Gohan or Trunks' head to fit on this suit. Whoops. So, yeah, I mean, the suit looks pretty legit, actually. Let's, let's get all the packaging off. And he comes with like a few different poses as well. What you saw kind of... What you saw jump out was like his shadow, and he can kind of do that pose there. But they they actually have an SH Fig Yards of Michael Jackson, and it looks pretty cool. Um, but <laughs> yeah, again, these are all fakes from AliExpress. So and I believe the real Michael Jackson SH Fig Yard figure is like 150 bucks or something what? ridiculous. So to get it for the fraction of the price is pretty good, but here, it came with a little hat too. Let me get everything laid out and then we'll kind of 
look at him a bit more. <laughs> All right, so I got him here. Again, I'm not gonna go through like a full review, but <laughs> I think it was just funny he came in the package like that. Like I didn't move him or anything, but already, I mean, honestly, the figure looks decent. I mean, I've seen <laughs> better, better face plates for sure, but it should be good. And you know, the articulation isn't terrible. So maybe we can get like a, you know, Gohan in the suit here. He can't really move his leg too far up. It just kind of stops there on the joint. So boggle. Oh. <laughs> and then, yeah, you can just kind of see there. It's like a kind of cheap, cheap plastic ball joint. Ball joint. So can't really bend that one too boggle. much. If I just try to even bend that leg, it pops off. So definitely, you know, get what you pay for on AliExpress with these being those Chinese knockoffs, but I mean, look wise and just standing, it probably won't look too bad. And then it, you know, one of the only accessories I'll really do is the hat that it came with or the fedora, you know, tips, tips fedora. And <laughs> it came with this extra piece. I mean, I feel like if I try to put that on, I'll probably just end up breaking the whole figure. Um, the, uh, the Beast Gohan that I got from Teemu in the last video where I kind of mentioned, you know, I'm gonna be opening some AliExpress stuff. I tried to put the cross arms on him and his arm ended up breaking. So <laughs> that, that one didn't last too long and there's definitely limitations to these. Um, I mean, the, the suit and everything is hard plastic. It's, you know, glossy. The, I will say like the paint job isn't bad. I was kind of watching some reviews on the actual AliExpress, Michael Jackson, and <laughs> you know, some, some people, it looked like they got it a bit worse, but yeah, overall, this looks pretty good. We'll just take his head off here and it has a decent size peg. So, I mean, it's, it's a really short one. That's what she said. So, so we'll see if any heads just kind of fit it. Um, without any modifications and then if not maybe we can put like our own uh, peg in there for one of them so let's see I'm gonna try to you know fit one of Gohan's pegs on there and let's see how that works all right well we got trunks in the pose <laughs> he's the one that uh, decided to make work with Michael Jackson's suit got Goku and Vegeta there as well and I used the uh, Xenoverse trunks. I got Michael Jackson's head just kind of sitting on there. This man isn't black! <laughs> but it was the uh, the smallest head. I basically just put the uh, neck peg from this figure onto there. So if we ever want trunks in the suit, that'll be pretty cool. Uh, this trunks actually came with the base form head too. So, you know, if you just want to have them powered down in their suits, you can do that. But... He kind of lucked out instead of Gohan. I was hoping, you know, maybe it'd be good for like Gohan's wedding or something since it is like a white suit, but pretty, pretty good either way. Let's, uh, let's get Trunks stood up and kind of see that more. You've been hit by, you've been hit by a same criminal. I think that's money well spent. So <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. And let's open up this Vegeta next. See what we get. All right, so we got the Vegeta here. Let's kind of open him up, but we'll look at the box first. It's the box is just pretty much like paper <laughs> printed out. I mean, it has like the SH fig arts and everything on there and looks probably, um, I, I don't have the actual figure of this, so I can't really compare, but I'd assume, you know, all the pictures and stuff are the same, but you can tell it's just like the material is paper. And then it doesn't have anything on the side. It always has, you know, the actual SH figure on the side, the name of it. And it doesn't have the Tamashii Nation sticker or the Toei Animation sticker also. And I mean, if you can't tell that it's a fake by that faceplate, there might be oh, something wrong. are you stupid? <laughs> so let's open this up and see what we get. I'm kind of hoping the body will be at least good so I can you know, maybe use it as a stand-in until I can get the real deal. But 
I do tend to, you know, just, <laughs> it, it's kind of fun to buy some bootlegs. I mean, I don't really use them per se, like for posing and everything, because the articulation's bad, but look, another one that came with a stand, the Beast Gohan came with a stand too, so those are always fun. I mean, a lot of times, like with the Beast Gohan one, it is like really flimsy, so it's still hard to pose, but let's get this uh, plastic off, and we'll kind of look at this one a bit further. Oh man, so I got the plastic off, and up close, this thing looks pretty rough <laughs> like none of the joints are together it's very like loose and flimsy i mean look at that you can see the actual like ball joint and the wrist there <laughs> it doesn't even go like to his glove and man his like this arm is holding on by a thread i can't even bend his chest <laughs> oh look at his toe okay that toe is about to fall off. Yeah, really, really bad quality on this one. I've gotten ones that have been a lot better. And look at that head too. Like it's chipped, the paint's wearing off. It's crooked. And look at that, his nose, like the wrinkles on that, that's ridiculous. It's head, you know, it can go go to like a metal concert or something excuse me it's Frank here thank you it was only 20 bucks the real figure cost you know about a hundred but <laughs> i wouldn't even be able to use this as a look at this that's that's just how it came it didn't even i guess it has that but it doesn't even like go in <laughs> The torso is just like holding on by a thread. Yeah. It uh, it did come with the cross arms. Um, I'd be scared to put those on. The whole thing would probably break. Let's look at the other face plates. We got this face. It's like the serious face, which actually doesn't look terrible. I mean, it still looks off. And then, oh man. This... <laughs> This yelling face and all that is something crazy. It got it got the vein there, so and then it's got a nice little swirl. I mean, swirls are good if you're looking at Pokemon cards, Hollow, but not faces. See that swirl? That's special. That's unique. It's a special snowflake. Now check that out. <laughs> that's that's all jacked up. And then this is his Super Saiyan God head, and I mean, it doesn't look terrible it's false i mean i'd be curious to see if it like fit on vegeta um I, I think i have his actual body somewhere let me get that and we'll see if the heads are able to swap out let's see yeah no so i have the real vegeta body this is the one from superhero you can see the peg is a lot bigger than the hole so can't even you know put it on an actual sh figure it's body if you wanted to, I mean, the face looks pretty bad, so <laughs> I don't think you'd want to. And then there's that one. I'll try to get the, okay, there we go. So, I mean, I'm curious to see, like, it looks like a legit peg, but maybe that hole is, it's smaller, so it might fit like a Goku or something. I mean, I wouldn't really put anything on this body, but it may be. <laughs> It may be a little saving grace if this uh, peg fits a Goku, because I can always use more Goku pegs for all the heads I have for him. But yeah, let's uh, <laughs> we can put the Super Saiyan God head on this Vegeta. But yeah, it's yeah. I mean, it pops in good. It's just, oh. boggle. Well, I thought it popped in good. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, we got it on, so. But, yeah, nothing just wants to... Nothing wants to go back in the way it's supposed to, so. Yeah, well, there's that. I mean, it it looks, looks pretty bad. Okay, so here's a comparison between the Super Saiyan Vegeta 
and then this kind of monstrosity so yeah it doesn't really look that good i mean the heights and everything are similar and it stocks up i mean you can kind of see like his head won't even stay up and you can see the <laughs> the actual ball joint and the wrist peg i mean it's not supposed to be like that at all his legs there's that huge gap there with the torso and this you know his thigh piece just kind of floats around i mean it's supposed to be you know good like this but <laughs> it's th this one you can definitely tell is a cheap knockoff i mean this is the only face that looks somewhat normal i mean you have that monstrosity <laughs> And then you have that, which, I mean, that doesn't look too bad either. All right, so before we get to opening Android 18, <laughs> I did something here. So I ended up putting, or attempting to put on the cross arms. It doesn't even, like, fit the, I mean, the cross arms are too small to actually fit into the pegs. But, I mean, from this angle, it looks pretty good. And I did confirm that the... Uh, neck peg that this one came with fits Goku or well anyways <laughs> it fits Goku um so Goku Black has the same neck peg as the Goku figures the 2.0 bodies at least um so yeah was able to put this Vegeta head on Goku's body and then you can put like any 2.0 Goku head on this body I mean, again, the body is pretty bad, but I will say, I mean, they got the, um, it, it is like a bit shorter, or I mean, it kind of looks like the same size, but for some reason with Goku's head, like on there, he just looks smaller and actually like Vegeta size, you know, how Vegeta should look as compared to Goku. But I mean, even this, uh, Saiyan, you know, the Super Saiyan Vegeta, looks pretty accurate as compared to Goku like that's kind of the the heights comparison there so uh, I thought this looked pretty funny but I mean Super Saiyan God no lie looks pretty good on Goku Black's gi just because of the red band it, it goes well together I mean I kind of wish they just had you know Goku Black go Super Saiyan God and have that red hair instead of pink because that looks pretty sweet but yeah, I figured I'd just do that. And then um, there was some new news, actually. I have the, you know, the um, Super Saiyan Blue head there for Vegeta. So again, it won't actually go on this, but good news is that it looks like they're actually releasing uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Now, it'll still be a 2.0, but... It'll be with this body, and it'll be like the Tournament of Power one, so we won't have to <laughs> kind of make our own makeshift one like I was talking about earlier with, you know, the Goku, or sorry, the Vegeta Super Saiyan Blue head going on this body for the Tournament of Power. So that'll be cool. Um, it looks like it'll be at that $35 price point and still a 2.0, unfortunately. I know a lot of people have been, you know, wondering when the new Vegeta 3.0 will be coming out but I really think they're kind of saving that for Super Vegeta from Cell. Um, I'm really hoping that they make that figure one day since they just made that legendary Super Saiyan Goku all buff. I'm hoping that they make the Vegeta you know buff like that as well when he was Super Vegeta. So <laughs> this is this figure. I mean it is kind of grown on me like from a distance you know, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Just the face plates could have been a lot better. Like, this is pretty lacking, especially with the new one released. I mean, that one just looks sick. So, I'm going to be picking that new one up for sure. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this figure in the comments. I mean, I'll, I'll give the rating. I'll put it up a little bit because, I mean, it does scale pretty well. And it looks, you know, small how Vegeta should. So... Um, I, I like it with the cross arms, even if they don't go on all the way, but I'll bump the ranking up to a four on this one. <laughs> so let's get Android 18 out and see what we got there. Well, all right, we got Android 18 here. Let's just open her up or we'll 
get it open, but let's look at the box real quick. So it looks like, you know, the event exclusive, like I said, when we first got her, but <laughs> you can kind of see that eye or that faceplate is all jacked up for her. I'm curious to see, you know, how everything compares to the real thing. I don't have the real one, unfortunately. I mean, this one is, you know, one of the earlier figure arts. So it's a 1.0. Um, if you get this version, you know, from the box, the event exclusive. But yeah, it has everything that the normal box would have. It looks like it has the controller that <laughs> Krillin had and then a face for Krillin also. But um, it, just looking at this, it's like Clay, Clillin are attached. <laughs> So, yeah, kind of kind of weird there, but let's get her open and see what we got. I was thinking maybe we could try to do like a custom with this one if it will work in the future, but looks like it comes with a bunch of accessories. Let's get this. Yeah, they always have tape on this stuff, so let me get that off and we'll we'll get her open here. Yeah, let's get her out here. And kind of go over first looks. So, um, I mean, honestly, <laughs> the hand can definitely use some work. I mean, what is that? It's just like hanging on. That's bizarre. So her arm is just like a really long, <laughs> like slender man type thing. And then the, the hand you can't turn it well, you can turn it that way a little bit but that's bizarre <laughs> she has wow yeah not aliexpress hadn't been doing too good on the figures but <laughs> she's got the extremely long hands i can't even bend the skirt is like completely hard plastic it gives no room to bend, so I can't, I can't bend the thigh up at all or back. That's all the movement you can get there. You can bend at the knee a little bit, and then her boots. You can see that big old peg there on both of her boots. So, yeah, not much articulation at all. This here we'll put her Slender Man arms down. <laughs> this is like all. She can move on the chest. And I mean, speaking of chest, like, look how flat that is. That's like a, that looks, that looks pretty, pretty messed up there. Sorry, 18, they didn't do you any justice on that. But, <laughs> and then this faceplate too. That eye is just like very, very off center. So let's look at some of the other faceplates. This one <laughs> doesn't look too much better than the one that has, that she came with. I mean, the, something's just like off about the eyes. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that face is either. It's like she's given duck lips or something. You know how those girls do that. And then <laughs> this one, it's like she's blushing or something <laughs> and she got like a little sunburn. I don't know if you can kind of tell because my, my fingers are kind of that color too, but you can kind of see this one is just like a little bit more pink tint to it there. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's hard to see in the lighting and everything. And then this is the only face that looked somewhat normal. That's just like her normal face, but even the eye is a little bit off centered on that one. And then she came with a different head piece as well with some hair. I guess that's more of like a flowing look, but yeah, let's uh let's put a faceplate on that and then see kind of the difference between these heads. All right, so I got the other hair piece on, so it's kind of like a wavy one, and yeah, it it doesn't look bad honestly. And I put the duck face on there, so let's take her head off and then whoa, shit. I think I may have just broke it there. <laughs> And I, I guess that little piece goes in to there, but this is weird. So her, like this head just has like a peg. So I think this peg is supposed to come out, but yeah, that's weird. I'll, I probably won't mess with it and try to change the hair pieces. 
just because I need to try to put that other hair on. I mean, I guess that just kind of connects into there. But yeah, that was a little weird. Caught me for a loop. Well, so I got the head on there. Again, I'm not really going to mess with putting on the wavy hair just since it's like a completely different neck peg. I mean, I could probably just get some pliers and pull out the white one. But if we want to, we can try to put on the cross arms. Maybe that'll look better <laughs> just since these, the hand peg and the arms just seem pretty long to me. But I mean, it is, you know, that fake knockoff figure. So can't really blame it. I mean, they tried <laughs> and this was, you know, again, like 13 bucks or so. So it's definitely a fraction of the cost of the actual figure but yeah i mean these the 18 17 and 16 have all just like jumped in price tremendously so that's um i mean if you can get it for this price it's not it's not terrible for a stand-in once again but you know it's always better just to have the real the real deal yeah with the cross arms i mean doesn't look bad honestly so again, I mean, you can't really do much articulation wise. You can't move that. Um, she's definitely lacking in the, the asset department there. But <laughs> I mean, for 13 bucks, this isn't a bad figure. You know, she'll look good next to Krillin. And I mean, speaking of Krillin, it came with this head, but I it's not gonna go on Krillin's body because Krillin's head, the 3.0 has like a massive hole there where the head just slides on and then she came with all the hands of course but then she also came with the controller that you know krillin destroys there but yeah i mean overall i'd, I'd like to <laughs> there is a fake one that's like custom that has you know bigger stuff <laughs> on ebay but it's like 140 bucks and the one that he did the custom of is probably a fake like this one so maybe down the line i'll see if i can't you know just kind of recreate my own custom like that i've been meaning to try to do some but i honestly don't know like the good paint or um how to do any customs really uh, i'm still kind of new to this so uh leave in the comments below if you do know like good paints and primer and stuff to kind of paint figures but yeah, let's, um, I'll, I'll get the other figures and we can kind of close this out. Well, all right, so I got the three figures there. I'm pretty happy with the Michael Jackson, not gonna lie. That's definitely my favorite with the trunks there. It just looks pretty sweet. And then Android 18 isn't terrible. I mean, the articulation and everything is pretty garbage and some of the face plates, but I mean, for a stand-in, you know, with the cross arms, she honestly doesn't look terrible. You know, it's just kind of like a stand-in for the collection there until, you know, I can get the real deal. And then uh, Vegeta, you know, he's probably the one I'm least <laughs> excited about. But I am definitely excited about the new uh, Vegeta Super Saiyan Blue that is going to be released by actual, you know, Tamashii Nation's SH Fig Yards for just the $35 price point. So I'm definitely going to be picking that one up. Let me know in the comments if you are as well and which one of these three is your favorites. But until next time, I'll see everyone then. Take care.